Oh, there he is. Came up and got it out of nowhere. What is up guys and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D and as you can see, we are somewhere far, far away from home about to go and get on some nice, nice speckled trout. At least we hope. But we are here in uh, Bayou La Battery and these are some of their casino ships where a lot of people come down and they will bet a lot of their money, their hard earned money, uh, gambling inside of these ships. But we're not here to gamble. We're here to take the kayak out and we're here to go and get on some fish. So if you guys got some time, grab a drink, grab a seat, and let's go fishing. Let's go. All right, we are all loaded up. I know you guys are laughing at me because I still don't have a paddle, but that's okay. That is okay because we can still get the job done without it. And we're gonna prove that today. Let's get to our spot. Ooh. All right guys, so it is 5.59 right now. We're just getting on the water. I would have liked to got out a little bit sooner and be fishing right now in our spot but we don't have all the necessary gear that we need in order to travel uh, before sunrise so uh, a lot of safety precautions that you have to have as well as legal measures that you have to take so uh, we're just gonna leave right up out of this pass we're gonna leave right up out of this pass right here and we're gonna cut right which is heading west and uh, see if this spot that we have found on maps is any good. We had some people tell us about this spot and I got a good feeling about it. So let's see what happens, let's go. All right guys, so the place that we actually came all the way over here to fish was kind of blocked off. We couldn't get over there, so we are having to resort to plan B which is fish what we can fish because apparently there's a lot of area that I can't get to that I want it to get to but I'm just not going to be able to so here we are resorting to plan B this really uh, doesn't make me happy per se because I drove about two hours or more to fish this area. Oh my goodness. Had a good bite right there. Let's see if he stole my tail. Nope, not quite. A lot of fish like to steal the tails off of these. I'm fishing with a Fish Bites Dirty Boxer. And I'm targeting redfish, flounder, and speckled trout today. So that tail is gonna come into play big time. And there's little fish just destroying this, this bait right now. I mean, they are destroying it. Look at that. They took the tail right off of him. Let's put another tail on. We may have to speed up that cadence just a little bit. Just fit that on like so. Push it all the way up against the head. And then you got a near perfect bait. So what I'm doing right now is I'm fishing this little inlet. There's some grass right here. There's a small channel inlet. And I'm hoping that there are some fish stacked up in there. Lots of lots of small fish just destroying and i do mean destroying this this bait because it's a scented bait and these guys are just all over 
If they stay as bad as they are, I'm gonna have to switch. A lot of pinfish and other small species. These are some nice channels. Surprised I'm not getting tore up. This water's only inches deep. And so it kind of makes sense that there won't be any speckled trout over here. Oh, there, oh, oh, I see fish chasing bait. Spoke too soon, didn't I? Spoke too soon. We might get to sight cast a fish, guys. Now that would be sick. I could have just spooked those fish. What is that? Getting some little love taps. That or I could have been pulling through the grass. Oh man, look at that. Lots of bait right here. Some type of contrapment right here. Could be like an oyster bed or something. I'm thinking there might be some flounder in here. came up and got it out of nowhere or is that a trout oh my it's a flounder it is a flounder it's a flounder a good flounder a keep a flounder come here dude oh my goodness dude wow we came a long way for that fish holy crap he came up off the bottom and got it that is a good flounder too man Wow, I was about to bring that bait in. I was about to bring it in and he freaking got it. Yes, 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 yes. Woo. Let me get this fish unhooked and I'm gonna show them to you guys. We finally got us one, man. That's what we came all the way over here for. All right, guys, here is that flounder we just landed. A very nice one. Let's see how long he goes. Let's put the measuring tape on this bad boy. Let's see how long he goes. Zero. 17 and a half. That fish is 17 and a half inches. A good solid keeper. Man, we came a long way to get that fish. Let's see if we can get us another one. That thing is nice and healthy. Got some thick fillets on it. And it's going to make a really, really nice meal. Let's go. All right, that kind of lifted the spirits a little bit. I wasn't able to fish the place and the, the spot that I actually anticipated on fishing. But... I was able to come over here and make something happen out of this trip. I think that deserves a celebratory drink. We got us a Red Bull, my favorite flavor, peach nectarine. Mm. That just goes to show you, if things don't go your way, you still got to take the good with the bad, be persistent. That fish just came out of nowhere, man. We're going to get back out there and get to fishing. That was my first time catching something on these dirty boxers. Now, I've caught like small croakers and other things, but as far as catching an actual keeper fish, 
an actual game species. That was my first time catching something on these guys. I see a lot of people using them, and uh, I see a lot of people buying them at the bait and tackle shop. So I decided to go ahead and give them a try. You know, I see people catching flounder on them all the time. Anytime you go to the bait store, guys, and you see that there are baits missing or baits that are almost out, that is a good sign, especially if you're fishing in an area that you're not very familiar with that goes to show you what those fish are actually biting in that area let's give this guy a cast right back out in the same area over here loosen that guy up just a little bit more that flounder came up and smoked this thing dude and i mean smoked it he engulfed it All right, guys, so we are back in the garage here about to do the catch and cook portion of this video. So I got that flounder all filleted up, ready to get here and put it on the grill here. We're gonna grill that fillet up for you guys and then we are going to just chow down on it because uh, I've been craving some flounder for a while now and we finally got us a good one. And instead of baking it or frying it, we're gonna slap her on the grill. So. Uh, you guys stay tuned and we're gonna get that flounder all filleted up for you guys so let's get to cooking all right guys we got the grill cleaned up and we got a fresh piece of aluminum foil laid down on there and as you can see i done poked holes into that aluminum foil to let a lot more of the heat come through as we lay those those flounder fillets down on top of there and we're gonna have some butter and some olive oil on top of that um, aluminum foil as well as on top of the fish fillets as well as just some salt and pepper really simple and uh we're gonna get these guys grilled up real nice for you guys so let's get those fish slapped on there and uh get this thing going all right guys we got those fillets on there and as you can see i think you guys can see but the skin has been left on there you can see right there you can see right there that there is some skin left on there but we're gonna let these guys cook and we got that heat turned down to about low, medium to low. And we're gonna go ahead and shut this guy and let them do their thing. And as those fillets cook, we're gonna watch that temperature rise. We're gonna put a little more butter on there, a couple of butter chunks and get that baby cooked up real nice for you guys. So you guys stay tuned and we'll be cooking up this flounder and eating it in no time. Woo, let's go. All right, guys, we got the butter on there. As you can see, it's melting off real nice and slow. And I'm sure you guys are wondering why are there four fillets up there? That's because flounder have two sides to them, two fillets on each side. So, so you fillet that fish in half on each side and you end up with four fillets. And as you can see, this guy was pretty healthy Got some nice fillets there. So let's close this guy and let him cook the rest of the way through. Woo! All right, it looks like these fillets are ready to come off of the grill. So we're gonna do just that. <laughs> these things are looking mighty delicious. Let's take them off the grill and get them plated up. Yeah. All right, guys, as you can see, we got that flounder all grilled up. And uh, some of that skin did stay on the aluminum foil, but that's okay because we still got all the flavor we need in the fillets itself. So as you guys can see, we, we got some carrots, some green beans, as well as corn on the cob. So we got a lot of butter on that corn right there, but the last thing to do is to give this guy a try and see what it's like. I'm gonna go ahead and confess that I already tried this stuff out, so... Uh, I already know that it's delicious, but let's give it a try on camera. Let's get a nice fork full right here. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. A lot, a lot of flavor in that. My goodness. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this meal off 
If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm talking with my mouth full. Be on the lookout for more content. We're gonna try and do more catch and cooks just like this guy's for you. My family. And uh, this is really good. But yeah, we're gonna uh, finish this meal. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hit that like button so the family can keep growing. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Vitamin D for Vitamin D TV. And I'm out. Peace.